तो बिग बूस्ट टू आत्मनिर्भर भारत इन डिफेंस स्पेशली ऑन द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द फिफ्थ जनरेशन एयरक्राफ्ट द एडवांस मीडियम कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट प्लान द एफ जी एफ ए इंडिया डिसाइडेड टू ज्वाइन हैंड विथ फ्रांस फॉर द फाइटर जेट इंजिन एंड दिस इज अ गवर्नमेंट टू गवर्नमेंट डील इज वॉट वी आर बींग टोल्ड टू ज्वाइंटली डिजाइन एंड मैनुफैक्चर द सैफ्रैन fighter jet engine and this will be that new 120 kilo newton power engine for the advanced medium combat aircraft that new delhi has been aspiring for to fly by 2035 india's very own fifth generation fighter jet will be flying on made in india with french collaboration safran engines this has been confirmed by defense minister rajnath singh he said it will be the french aircraft company safran uh, that will work with india it will be a part of the make in india process so uh, some bits of technology will come in and then lot of it depends on the kind of absorption of that technology in india but then the engines will be made in india listen in to the defense minister and india today's shivani sharma and sandeep punithan uh, join me for more on this and sandeep big in more ways than one so let's first talk about how significant is this as part of make in india project for the fifth generation fighter jet engine to be made in india with safran france and not the american engines i'll just come to the the signal to the united states of america in just a moment but sandeep on the safran engines to be made in india Well, got a huge announcement coming from uh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, and he's uh, laid to rest this contest that was on for several months now, where there were three front runners uh, really for uh, India's fifth generation fighter aircraft uh, jet engine co-development uh, partners. Basically, one was of course GE of the United States, uh, the other was Rolls Royce of the UK, and of course uh, Safran of. France now what india has really done with this statement uh, got of its very significant statement we have actually chosen a partner for the next two or three decades uh, which is very very critical and the fact is that we have chosen to go with a french co development uh, engine a uh, partner for the fifth generation fighter aircraft the amka which will enter service in a decade from now that is 2035 uh, and uh, it it is a very very important project got up it's a, a very prestigious project something like 61000 crores is what the government hopes to spend on this project so it's a very significant announcement and the fact is that india has decided to go with france and not the us and the uk for the co-development of this uh, jet engine for the stay with me generation. stay with me sandeep as i bring in shivani sharma for more on this shivani your sources were telling you this uh, for quite some time now uh, we discussed this um, mid may june that we are moving forward in the direction of safran for the make in india for fgfa uh, uh, fighter jet engines the fifth generation fighter jet engines what tip the scales in favor of france and not rolls royce uh, of the united kingdom and not uh, the general electric engines from united states of america see got of uh, uh, the focus for india has been on atmanirbharta self reliance and this started happening after 2020 the galwan clash and since then we've seen hundreds of items have been there on non import list but when it comes to engines india has been uh, working on its own engine but now not only depending on uh, united states it's working with a number of other partners and france happens to be one of the most important partners uh, because my sources uh, told me this way back uh, in the month of may right after operation sindoor gorav that india has already started discussing with france's uh, safran for uh, uh, the engine for amka the amka which happens to be india's very own it's uh, a home grown uh, uh, fifth generation fighter so on amka's engine india is working with safran and uh, why 2029 gorav uh, at least four prototypes are planned so that's yes. how india is now collaborating with other partners not only depending on united states and for that matter when the additional orders for 97 tejas aircraft have already been cleared by the government the additional engines can be taken from uh, united states but many other countries and in fact uh, france is being the, the most important reliable partner for those engines also so now it's interesting Defense you point Minister that out Singh that france has, has been uh, a reliable very, uh, partner sandeep if i take you back to what you and i were reporting as um, uh, 
uh, as reporters initially in, on the defense beat, 1998 Pokhran test and then sanctions and our entire seeking and sea harrier flight was grounded because the Americans or the West wasn't giving us spares, except France said, take what you want, it's in your interest. That, that partnership from the Mirages to the Rafales, now to the Safran jet engines, does that relationship only continue to grow from strength to strength? Absolutely, Gaurav. You know, while you can argue that uh, you know, the, the Defence Ministry has made the choice based on the best available of the three offers, that uh, uh, Safran has offered 100% transfer of technology and full IP ownership for India and for, uh, you know, for the Defence Ministry to own the IP of the engine, which means that we are uh, completely self-sufficient on the engine. There is also a very important diplomatic angle to all of this, as you highlighted in the past, you know, France has always shown its independence. It has never attached uh, any strings to Indian defense hardware. And that is the reason when we are talking about the kind of language that is coming out of Washington, D.C. right now, Gaurav, the kind of words that are being used for India, uh, you know, words like sanctions and uh, tariffs are being freely thrown around without realizing mm -hmm. the kind of damage that this is being done uh, to the India-U.S. defense partnership. We've always been trading on eggshells with the United States. And in 2025, uh, I sense, Gaurav, that, you know, uh, South Bloc's worst fears have come true when it comes to the oh, relationship absolutely. with the United States. And which is why uh, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh's statement today is such a big, big thing, that they have chosen to go ahead with France, they've chosen to go ahead with a uh, French jet engine uh, manufacturer to co-partner for truly what they believe is going to be an Atmanirbhar or an indigenous uh, jet engine, Gaurav. So it's a very, very big statement of uh, faith and, and trust in, in a, a trusted strategic partner, which New Delhi believes is unlikely to stray away from this beaten path that we've seen over the last 25, 26 years, especially since Pokhran 2. So it is actually oh, not indeed, just... Because Absolutely. I mean, even if we were to talk about the light combat aircraft, its development from the 1980s, the moment 1998 Pokhran test happened, the supply of GE 404 engines stopped for the light combat aircraft and that project could not take off. It could not soar. For decades, the relationship improved. The jet engines started coming. But again, around 2020s, the end of Biden era and the beginning of Trump 2.0, the supply of GE 404 engines delayed again, in some instances by two years. They may blame supply chain problems, but is it just supply chain problems or other, is there another signal that the United States was trying to send to India, Sandeep? Well, absolutely, Gaurav. You know, and uh, the last thing you want is, uh, you know, for your fighter jet engines to face supply chain issues of the kind that we've been hearing uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, fighter jets are literally... Uh, you, you know, the last line of defense for a country. And we have to choose very carefully, which is why uh, in the past, New Delhi has not bought any fighter jets from the Americans. But somehow we seem to have gone ahead with a fighter jet engine deal with the United States, placing our most important indigenous fighter jet, uh, yeah, in, uh, your just... fighter jet program in the hands yes. uh, of uh, American uh, whims and fancies, which is what has been exposed, really. So the entire Mark I and Mark II, uh, sadly, today, they're powered by American jet engines. There doesn't seem to be a way out of this conundrum, uh, Gaurav, unless we can sufficiently indigenize large parts of it, create a lot of that supply chain within India to protect us from future uh, so-called supply chain issues uh, that might arise. Oh, absolutely. Be that may, uh, as it may be, uh, in the future, the, the government has very clearly indicated that they want to go ahead with France and, of course, the indigenous uh, jet engine, Gaurav. You know, uh, you're absolutely right. Usually fighter jets are the last line of defense except with the Narendra Modi government, both in 2019 and in 2024, five, they've been the first line of offense, uh, whether it's in Balakot or in Operation Sindur. Sandeep, for the moment, many thanks for joining me.